Yoga promotes openness of the mind. How do we do that? We create these open postures that allow us to stand tall and to create this welcoming attitude. Openness allows us to be more attentive, to be explorers, to be more creative, and to be more attentive. And all of this may sound like we have to be some sort of transcendentalist, but no, yoga is really about awareness. And with that, you take on a certain brightness. You look better. You're more engaged. So in this practice, we'll do poses that allow you to open up to new possibilities and to refresh your practice. We'll begin standing. In yoga, we stand in Tadasana, this home base of yoga poses, as a way to just come back, to re-engage, to root. So as you draw from the earth to the pelvis to engage the legs, draw from the fingers to the heart and heart to the pelvis. Stand tall. You're open to possibilities. You're open to shifts in your yoga practice. At the top of your mat, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, draw down and bend your knees. Step yourself back to downward facing dog. In order to refine your alignment, first check your foundation. Get a nice spread to your fingers. With your feet hip distance apart, just lift your heels up and draw them down. Now bend your knees, lift your heels up, and with the legs straight, draw the heels toward the earth. Bend your knees again, lift your heels, look forward. Now root down from the heart to the pelvis, pelvis all the way to the earth. Walk your hands back to your feet. Place your hands right above your knees. On the in-breath, draw your heart forward, lift your chin. On the exhale breath, just look in toward your heart and draw from the navel back to the spine. Inhale breath as you lift your sit bones. Exhale breath as you draw your gaze inward. Inhale breath as you lift your arms up and take your hands nice and wide apart. Bend your knees just a little bit more. Take the inner thighs back. Take your right hand down to the outside of the left thigh, outside of the knee. Open your chest nicely. Shift back to the center position. Let's rotate the spine the opposite way. Take your left hand to the outer right knee. Open your chest nicely. Release your hands down to the mat. Walk your hands forward toward the front of the mat. On the in-breath, look forward, come toward plank position. On the exhale breath, bend your knees, lift your sit bones up. Now reach from your heart to your pelvis, pelvis down toward your heels as you straighten your legs. On the next in-breath, lift your heels high, draw them toward the right side of the mat. Inhale, lift your heels high, draw your heels toward the left side of your mat. Inhale, lift your heels high, walk your feet up to your hands, place your hands to your low back, rise up. Pause in Tadasana, this home base. Now explore. Explore your breath. Explore the steadiness in your foundation. 
as you draw from your pelvis to the earth and you feel a nice lengthening quality from the pelvis to the crown of the head. Reach up, reach back, release down. Step your right foot back. Keep your right hand where it is. Take your left hand to your waist and turn toward your inner left knee to be open. We want to create a nice shoulder loop where the head of the arm bone draws back to really get this nice open quality of the upper chest. Reach your left arm up. Reach your left arm over your head. Release your hand down. Step your back foot forward. Place both hands to the low back. Rise up. Reach up. Take your hands wider apart. Spread your fingers. Reach up and back. Exhale. Take your hands to the earth. Step your left leg back. Keep your back leg lifted. Have your left foot almost vertical. Keep your left hand where it is. Take your right hand to your low back. Turn your heart to the inner knee. Reach your right arm up. And this nice fullness in your chest. Reach your right arm over your head. And enjoy this nice fullness from the pelvis to the armpit to the fingertips. Release your hand down. Step your back foot forward. Place your hands to your low back and rise up. Pause in Tadasana. Allow your breath to create this feeling of openness. As you create more fullness in the upper chest, see how your movements now can serve that openness with more fullness to your breath. Inhale, take your arms up. Reach up and back. Exhale, take your hands to the mat. Step to either all fours position or a plank position. In your plank position, just explore that openness on the right side as you support your weight with the right hand. Lift your pelvis high. Lift your left arm high. Stack your feet. Release your left arm over your head so you feel this nice length to the side body. Release your left hand down. Come to all fours position. In all fours position, move your shoulders forward with your knees down. Let your heart lead the way. Keep your pelvis lifted. It's awkward, but take your heart forward once your heart reaches the floor. Inhale, lift up in a baby cobra, elbows hugging in. Exhale, soften. Again, inhale, let your back muscles help express this openness, the strength in the back muscles. You take the heads of the arm bones back. Exhale, soften. One more time. Inhale, from fingertip top position, you engage the arms, you pull in toward the midline, elbows hug in, exhale, you soften. Come to all fours position, and downward facing dog, make your way to the front of the mat, place your hands to the low back, rise up, reach up to the sky and slightly back. Exhale, bend your knees, place your hands by your feet. 
Step yourself back to either all fours position or plank position. If you're in all fours, as we come to the left side, you can keep one knee down. Otherwise, just tap your feet with the pelvis lifting nicely, with your right arm lifting. Engage nicely. Reach your right hand over and enjoy a nice stretch to the right side. Release your right hand down. Walk your feet all the way from downward facing dog. Walk your feet to the front of the mat. Place your hands to the low back. Rise up and pause again at this home base of standing poses. Just express this nice openness through the breath, through your posture, and through this inner fire, that desire to explore, to discover, to be courageous, to be tolerant, this openness that yoga gives you, the attentiveness and the awareness to details of the poses and of our breath. Reach your arms up once again. Exhale, take your hands to the mat. Step either to a plank position or all fours position. in all fours position. Keep your right knee where it is, straighten your left leg, then come to a side plank position with the right knee down. Those of you that did the stacked feet before, you can do that pose again or any variation. Reach your arm over your head. You get this nice fullness to the side body. Release your left hand Come back to a plank position or all fours. With your left knee down, allow your right leg to be straight as you come to the left side. Reach your right arm up. Take it over your head. Palm facing down. Release your hand to the mat. Make your way to Downward Facing Dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your knees at the back of your mat. Take your hands right above your knees with the heads of the arm bones drawing back. Reach your heart forward. Nice openness in the area of the heart. Reach your arms up. Just take the hands a little bit wider so that you have this fullness in the upper chest. Release your hands down. Walk the hands to the front of the mat. Walk your feet to the front of the mat from downward facing dog. Place your hands to your low back and rise up. Step wide on your mat, and in this wide stance, check to see that your feet are parallel. Bend your knees, take the inner thighs way back and apart, take the fingertips to the mat, walk your hands over to the right, now bend your right knee a lot. Take the top of the left thigh back more. Let your heart just soften into this inner thigh stretch. The heart softens down toward the mat. Back leg stays strong. 
Come back to the center position. In the center position, the knees can be slightly bent. Center your right hand, take your left hand to your low back and turn your heart so that you're rotating the spine. Your gaze to the left side. Reach your left arm up. Reach it over your head so you're reaching it forward. Release your hand down. Travel your fingers over to the left side. Bend your left knee. Draw the top of the right thigh back. Just bow into this. Pose as you continue to engage and create the steadiness in the back leg. Come back to the center position. Center your left hand on the mat. Take your right hand to the low back. Rotate the spine to turn your heart toward the right side and use the right hand as if it's a level so that it doesn't feel like you're then losing the alignment in the left leg. You can keep your right hand there or take it up and reach it over. Release your hand down. Travel your hands to the front of the mat. Pivot on the right foot to step your back foot forward to come to the top of the mat and stand in Tadasana. So we've done a lot of things to really open the hip and create some openness in the heart by taking the heads of the arm bones back and drawing our shoulder blades toward the midline. We'll do some more actions to open the whole front side of the body in keeping with this theme of openness. One of the greatest expressions of openness that I recently read was from William Blake's wife. You know, William Blake was a, a very creative poet and painter and visionary. William Blake's wife said, I don't see him so much. He's always in paradise. And so it is when we have this sense of openness, like William Blake, you get this attentiveness, this inspiration to explore and discover. Your imagination runs wild. What an inspiration, what enthusiasm it gives you. And yoga does that too. Let's continue with this nice openness in our practice, the openness of the front side of the body by coming to a kneeling position. If you have fussy knees, you might wanna double fold your mat so that your knees are quite comfortable in this. Step your right foot forward from the kneeling position. Tuck your left toes under so that your foot is nice and steady for you as you reach back with the left hand. Reach forward with the right hand. Plug in by drawing from the fingertips back to your heart, isometrically pulling the head of the arm bone back before reaching your right arm up and over your head. Now inhale, lift yourself to come out of the pose. Let's come to the opposite side. So take your right knee down, take your left foot forward, tuck your back toes under, find your right heel with your right hand, reach your left arm forward, Plug in, draw from the fingertips back to the heart, 
Reach your left arm up, over, back. Get this nice fullness. You just feel so open on the front side of the body. Notice the effect to your breath. You have so much spaciousness for the breath. Inhale, rise up, come out of the pose. Now let's come to that pose lying on the belly. On your belly, reach your right arm forward, bend your left knee, find your left foot with your left hand, inhale, rise up, so a variation of what we just did, exhale, soften, inhale, lift up, exhale, soften. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, soften. Now take your left hand forward. Bend your right knee. Reach back to find the right foot. And engage the right foot to help you open the chest nicely. Spread your right toes. Now reach the right foot away from your pelvis to rise up and release down. So the leg is quite active, arms are active, really engaging fully in the right side to open up. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen the front, strengthen the back. Exhale, soften. Now release out of that pose and come to lie on your back. And continuing in this openness theme, bend your elbows so that the upper arms can assist you in lifting the pelvis and press your elbows down more to lift the upper chest more. Pull from your heels toward your heart to engage your hamstrings, the back sides, the legs more fully. Get this nice openness to the chest. See if you can hold this bridge pose, Satubandha Sarvangasana. Really engage nicely. Now release down. So if you find that this bridge pose is a little strenuous for you and you want to go to a more passive back bend. Grab some blocks and scoot them underneath your pelvis so that you can have a more restorative back bend. Those of you that want to take it up the next level, then we'll come to a full wheel. Otherwise, most of us will stay in the bridge pose. So those of you that are coming to the full back bend, Take your hands in the position where your fingers are pointed toward your feet. Draw from the elbows back to the shoulders to engage. Those of you in bridge pose, press your elbows down alongside your ribs. Lift up your pelvis. Lift your shoulders up those of you coming to wheel, and then lift all the way up to come to the full pose. Just get this nice fullness in your breath, and slowly come out of the pose. And release your hands to your sides. Take your feet wide apart. With your knees bent, feet wide apart, just reach your knees over to the right side. Come back to center. Reach your knees to the left.
come back to center. Watch your feet so that the bottoms of the feet are in prayer position. So as you press your feet against each other, bend your elbows, press your elbows down, lift your pelvis up, lift your heart, Get this nice fullness in the chest again with a strong action of the upper arms. Release your pelvis down. Draw your knees in toward each other. Take your arms in a cactus pose with the palms facing up, with your inner knees touching and your inner big toes together. Lift up your feet. Spread your toes so your legs are really engaged. Move your knees just slightly to the right, not all the way. So the left shoulder stays down when you're doing this. Come back to the center. Move your knees over to the left. Keep your right shoulder planted. Come back to the center. Wrap your right thigh in front of your left. See if you can wrap your right toes behind your left ankle. Reach to the right just a little bit. Shift back to the center. Wrap your legs with the left thigh over the right. Tuck your toes behind the ankle and draw over to the left side. Lift your knees up. Step your feet back to the mat and reach your legs out. Release your arms to your sides with the palms facing up. Close your eyes. Take your attention back to your breath. Yoga allows for this felt sense of openness. We might think that we can kind of fake it till we make it. So that we give others the impression that we've got this very open attitude. But in your actions of attentiveness, as you explore, as you discover, you become more tolerant. You start to see how the yoga practice, how meditation, how these practices really allow for this sense of freedom that openness gives you. In this pose of Shavasana, allow your legs and your arms to feel like they are completely surrendered and supported by the earth. Breathe in deep. And out long. You 
keep a nice ease and nice rhythm to the breath. a softness to your facial muscles. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. Breathe in deep. and out long. Breathe in deep. And out long. And this practice is a way to express openness. We created more fullness of length on the front side of the body. We worked on strength in the back side of the body to support that length, that openness. Notice how your breath helps to enhance those actions. With a nice, full, long in-breath, you feel the upper chest expanding more fully before a long release of the exhale breath. Just keep that attentiveness to the breath. Thank you for joining me in the practice. Namaste.